State of play! What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. We are 10 minutes away from the August the 6th State of Play. They said no big PS5 deal today. No date, no price, none of that shit, right? But PS4 updates, uh, VR updates, some PS5 things that, that were already announced uh, back in June. Um, but yes, we have some Sony business, about 40 minutes of it, to have a video here reacting to it today because honestly I don't have time to edit anything because I just got power back last night. So, before that, we have our Patreon supporter shout outs. That includes Thomas Gibbs, Phil Sedacker, Peter Morris, and Justin Baker, just, er, Thomas Baker, Justin O'Neill, Ben Wolf, 2, Sean Slauson, Yul Mahan, Cody Anderson, Timothy Cordwell, Heinz Limmer, Anthony Wayne, Muhammad Al Samimi, and Cornholio69. Rounding out the bunch, those details down in the description below but yes we are a little bit away here from state of play and that's going to be uh the thing let me get up this window here to make sure it's not started yet or they're that they're not actually doing their stream yet uh this video might be all right no yeah it it might be inappropriate for some users it might have the violence or the boobs all right so do that do that and I will turn this down so I can talk over it. Um, there. And then I will do a thing with the window. Where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Here. And then I will do a thing with the full screen here. My body is ready. Ha ha ha. And there we go. So now we're ready for the PlayStation State of Play for today. What's going on in the chat? Roman, Game Perfect, Caden, Jimmy Choi, Ethan, Kostaki, Killer Clown. What's going on, you guys? Uh, what do you guys want to see in this state of play? Keep in mind, they're not going to show a whole lot of PS5 stuff. So you're not going to see a GTA 6 announced here. Just keep that in mind. Be aware. Uh, that is not the case today. For me, I want a release date for Spelunky 2. Give me a Spelunky 2 release date. That's kind of all I want. In 40 minutes, that has to be here somewhere, right? Right? Uh, they've, they, they've only said that between now and like next year's E3, we'll, we'll get a re release date for that game. So, come on, man. I need more Spelunky. Holy shit. Uh, what's going on, Blue and White Army? Uh, but I'm here for it, man. I'm here to react. Now, the last time I reacted on YouTube to a video game live stream, that was Ubisoft. And they shut down my sh my ability to stream for like a week and a half. So, is that going to happen here? Maybe. We'll see. If Ubisoft has a game here and they want to be assholes again that could happen and then there wouldn't be any streams for a little bit because assholes but that was that was last year's e3 remember e3 we used to have e3s and the e3s don't happen 
anymore because of fucking viruses. That sucks. Like, personally, give me that condensed four days of information. Like, I don't want... Alright, here's the thing in the summer. And more. And more. And more. It's just, it's too spread out. I want that one week of, oh my, news! I mean, one week of news, and, and I'm good. Uh, this week's pixels will be Paper Mario, the Origami King. I already filmed it, and it's already up on Patreon today. Uh, it'll be up on the main channel on Saturday, as per the usual. Now, I would like some Demon Souls gameplay here. Show me some Demon Souls gameplay. Um, if you subscribe to the PS Now free trial, how do you cancel? I have no idea. I've never used PS Now. I've never used it. Uh, I have Game Pass, and like that's, that's good enough for me. There's already way too many games on Game Pass for me to even fuck with. Like, it's, it's too much, man. It's too much. Not to mention all of that back there that needs to get, you know, dealt with. Uh, yes, they've said no major PS5 news today. Don't expect it. They said that, hey, we'll have updates for things that we already announced back in June at our last video thing for PS5. So, you know, perhaps a Demon Souls update, perhaps a Crash Bandicoot update, you know, those kinds of things. But no big, you know, date price. The important shit. Pre-orders. Give me fucking pre-orders. Holy shit. Because date and price for me... As someone who's buying both, is whatever. Give me pre-orders, let me get one, and I will stop being so anxious about not, about not being able to, to get one. Like, don't put up pre-orders at, at fucking four in the morning. Don't do it. Seriously. So, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I made Grim play Agents of, Agents of Mayhem. That video is already up. I guess go watch it. Uh, that game was kind of me. I thought it was kind of mediocre. Um, and Grim was he just liked the ex explosions. But yes, that 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 is an episode of Pixels. Uh, why? Thank you, Hyperfox. I'm I'm glad someone thinks so, cause most folks just don't watch. Is what it is. Ed Kane, it is a new day. I'm doing okay after not having power for a day and a half. Uh, I'm kind of on a backlog of stuff to do. Stuff to do. So there's been a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten do done that I did didn't have power. Just sitting around, playing 3DS, and, uh, you know. Having time to kill was nice, but I was like, I, I got videos to film. What the fuck? Uh, what's going on, Endingo? Uh, my take on Evil Within was that the first one was okay, and I liked it, and the second one was fucking amazing. Um, so I'm hoping there'll be a third one, because they kind of had a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the second one. But that second game, man, some of the most, like, the first couple of hours, some of the most tense horror gameplay I've seen in a long time. Um, so, but what's next for Mikami? I think he was done directing, so... That's gonna be, uh, you know, we'll see. Cause one of his, one of his, one of his, you know, proteges left, and she's now doing something else. So what the hell? Uh, yes, I played and bought Sh Shadows of the Damned on launch day. That that is, I own that game from launch day, uh, because that was Mikami and Suda and um, Yamaoka. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, yes, both both Evil Within games are worth playing. Definitely. If you like that Resident Evil style of action uh, action horror game, then, then yes, it is it is fantastic. Uh, this week's Pixels is Paper Mario. Next week's Pixels is Fall Guys, which which came out of Tuesday. So. As long as the servers work, we're playing Fall Guys. Back there on the screen somewhere. On a TV. In 4K. Uh, yes. We need to have a update on Spelunky 2. Uh, Star Wars. I, I suppose that I will rent Star Wars because it, it's, 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 it's going to have a VR 
thing in it, and anything that has a VR thing in it, I'm gonna want to play. So yes, um, two minutes to go here. Stay to play. My my fucking voice is already shot. Holy shit. Have I played Diablo three back when it came out? But not lately. Not lately. The problem with Chicky Chicky Boxy Wrestling is I'm waiting for a good sale. Uh, cause not for full price. Um, it's like 15 bucks. And I will, t I will tell you right now, my videos, even Pixels, are not making 15 bucks. Even wrestling games are not making 15 bucks. So that, that is a loss for me. Uh, and I prefer to not lose any more money, uh, buying games and having the, the videos not do great. So... A good sale, like five bucks, eight bucks, sure. Um, fifteen, no. What's going on, Wolf's Gaming? Uh, Need for Speed. Uh, those last couple, mmm. It, it, it needs a serious rethink uh, with that whole thing. Uh, I do not have a My Anime list. I, sh I should probably get one. I've watched a lot of anime. Um, but that's all. Having to fill shit out is very time-consuming when you are starting fresh on that kind of thing. Uh, that would be interesting. Okay, we're getting down to the wire here. Gonna turn up the state of play audio so I can hear it. That's important. Um, and the countdown begins. Forza or Gran Turismo? Well, one has VR and one doesn't. So you know that I love VR, but the problem with the VR is that it's only one-on-one -on -one races, which is not great. I want full-on, like, dr like Drive Club. Give me full-on VR racing. L fucking with the headset and the wheel. It's so good. It's so Even though I didn't really like Drive Club, that VR thing was just so immersive. So good. Alright, we're at a boot-up screen here, or something. So, is the... Alright, it's... A PS4 is turning on. It's in rest mode. It's turning on. Uh, me and Grim played Madden 20, I think, last year. Or was it 19? It's all the same, man. It's it's football. I don't watch football. Hey, it's Crash. Hey, everyone. I'm Lou Stutter, producer at Toys for Bob, and I'm here to talk to you about Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's about time. Crash 4 is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot Warped. The devious villains Neocortex and Dr. Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil scientist-sized hole in the universe. Evil. Now they've got their eyes set on not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions. And it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. That Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is the first good. totally new game in the Crash Bandicoot series in over a decade. So for us at Toys for Bob, we felt that it was important to reintroduce longtime fans, as well as new players, to this amazing franchise. First, we made sure right. to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective-shifting platforming that we all fell in love with. And then, we wanted to introduce exciting new elements that we can't wait to show you today. Let's start with Insanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started, and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see those changes to our gameplay and even our art style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games, but the animated cartoons that inspired those original games, all while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions Run to explore. Towards the camera! Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide-open new vistas, new character models, and lots of expressive animations. And with all of that also comes new additions to the platforming, like having the ability to wall run, rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing a biker jacket when riding a motorcycle. That seemed like a natural area for us to expand upon. So we have Check loaded out. the game with tons Pirate. of awesome skins that Neon. you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally cosmetic and a Cyber. fun way to express yourself while playing the game. And just to be clear, there's no MTX here. Yeah. Skins are earned by no completing different challenges no and earning gems within Fuck levels. Box. Crash 4 also introduces the Quantum Masks, the powerful protectors of time and space. Crash and Coco will need their assistance throughout the game to tackle the crazy challenges that we're going to be throwing at the player. 
Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center of gravity at oh, the press of a button. Done. Kapuna Wa, who allows you to slow down the world around you. Or Lani Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending the rules of reality and altering your environment with these new masks is a must. So we also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano. But that's going to have to wait for another day. What, what we can tell you today, though, is that Crash isn't the only character you get to take control of during this adventure. For starters, you can play the entire game as Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. It was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the story this time as well. But that's not all. We've got a few other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives and new gameplay. Here you can see that you'll be taking control of Neocortex. What? He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. What? I repeat. You get to play as Dingo Dial in Crash 4. Okay. Now, a lot has changed in the years since we last saw Dingo Dial. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. That boy thick. Unfortunately for Dingo, thick boy. fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and uh, getting sucked into I another dimension. USC 4 in, in, in my game fly. So as long as they Finally, ship it. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly what excited to show you today. The Crash Bandicoot series has always been about finding new and exciting ways to play through the game. In the past, it's been about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. There's underwater. Well, for Crash 4, we wanted to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up with our friends at Beanox to create a brand new Beanox. style of play for Crash 4 that we call Inverted Mode. It's our souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted, but now each of the dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that really changes the look and feel of the experience. One dimension could be asking you to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint all over the environment to see their path forward. We've even got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. Once all unlocked, right. players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, especially the completionists out there, a reason to revisit each level again to see what new and exciting experience is in store for them. So that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. Hooray! Experience the space and time-bending madness on October 2nd. That was a good like seven minutes on just on just crash. That was that was, that was, that was a lot. Today's a lot. state of play is loaded with third party updates for PS4 and PSVR, and some new yes, PS5 VR. gameplay too. We open the show with an all new look at Crash 4. Uh, it's mom. about time coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Okay, now let's keep the latest from IO okay, Interactive. Hitman. Show me Hitman gameplay. It came out in like January. It's fucking crazy. Love Hitman. It's so good. Alright. It's, it's like the same stage as the uh, reveal trailer. Dubai. Besides, oh shit, a VR day. mode. You should mingle. Have I was... fun. Oh, don't worry about that. My Man, what? speaks for itself. What? Well, I have to go. I was gonna buy it on Xbox. I, I own one and two on Xbox. I have three on. What? I wanna buy the game twice? What the hell, VR mode. Awesome, but man, why is there a VR mode? Why? I want it, but I don't wanna buy this game twice on both Xbox and and PS4, PS5. Well. That's fucking bonkers. What? What? Bro. So you can play all three games in in VR. What? I'm gonna, have to, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fucking buy it again. I'm gonna have to fucking buy it again. What the fuck? I own them all on Xbox. You assholes. You absolute assholes. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Where is my boy Decepticon in here? Cause holy shit. 
He is all about that BRB ness. What's going on, C. Stanley? Burger Man. J Money. What is this puzzly, candly, broken? It's carrying cross. Fall and pray. Tick tock. Tick tock. Looking pretty indie. Is it braid? Wait. Is there a braid sequel? Or is it just That's definitely Braid. Okay. That was wait, did Braid never hit PS4 or no? I Is it just Braid? I played Braid on 360. It's just Braid, alright. Whatever. I played Braid like fucking ten years ago. I'm good. I don't need Braid again. Now it's in HD. We but are happy to announce more than Braid years Anniversary ago. Edition. It's Man. the classic puzzle adventure nah. where you manipulate time nah. and repaint it for modern high resolutions. Many areas have been re-envisioned to make them more unique, and it's even more like a living painting with brushstrokes animating the world. I'm good. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for smoother motion, improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects like puzzle design, programming, and visual art. I we like plan Bray. to make it the most detailed commentary I in any game in ever. So if you want to learn I'm how video games are made, That's Braid Anniversary nah. Edition will be a really good resource. We hope you'll enjoy the game when it comes out early next year. It's crazy that it only was on, on Xbox for, for, for the up for that long. That's kind of nuts. The Pathless is a mythic adventure set PS5. on a mystical I island. PS5! Let's take a quick tour in this new footage captured from PS5. Hell yeah, PS5. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. Uh, I have an account on Twitter, I don't really use it that often. The Pathless is an open-world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the Hunter. What's going on, last shot? The Hunter Come is on, a master carnage. of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Fluid, dynamic reversal. movement is at the core of the Pathless. So the game's unique take on archery is all about timing, not aiming down sights. This design was critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. You instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. I have not played either of the home front games. I've heard they're bad, so I just didn't play them. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathos. You can gain altitude while you glide by flapping. Uh, yes, I, I have played Mafia 3. Yes, I have. Uh, certainly videos on Yakuza 7. Make sure you pet the eagle to keep it certainly. clean and in good flying condition. Pet the bird. Confirmed. Confirmed. You'll find secrets all over the island, if you know where to look. So do you like fight stuff or is it just exploring? Collecting crystals will let you upgrade the eagle's ability to flap. Okay. But... You'll also discover larger puzzles to solve in ancient structures. Okay, puzzles. All right, all right. All right. That is a big ass bow. Real big. Like if your bow is bigger the than you is are. all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, Wait, no map? the hunter can use her mask 
to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. It even shows you where you've been. Give me Getting a to big ass game with no map. We'll let you see further Bro. with spirit vision. Just saying. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your quest. They will try to separate you from the eagle. Okay, there are enemies. I guess. The smoke monster. What the hell? Why the hell? Is there a weak spot? A glowing weak spot? Stay still on in the, the light to avoid detection. Shoot it. Stealth. Aw, oh, shit, man. I'm bad. Stealth. Super Chad from Nonstop Player. Uh, you have missed a uh, crash update. You have missed Hitman. It's going to be in VR. 3, 2, you and 1. You won't be able to take on, on the cursed spirits PS4. until you've You're returned light to the obelisks. VR mode, which is fucking bonkers. And then we're here on doing this now, which is the pathless. Is that it so far? Yeah, it was, it was Crash, and Hitman, and then this. I think it's just a, this, is a, this is a third thing. When the obelisks are restored, the cursed spirits will be vulnerable. Chase them down crash. through the forest to corner yeah. them in a dramatic final battle. So you do fight it. Or you race it. Or you do something, man. Fighting it directly. You know, shoot the freaking hit. Weak spot, there you go. <laughs> oh yes! There was raid. There's this gonna be raid next year, which is like alright, but I played it in 08, so I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Fight that fire boy. Thick ass boy. Uh, as far as more WR 3D, right now my install is broken, so it's like broken. The hunter and eagle will have to defeat broken. the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of the Pathless. Uh, We've guess. only scratched the surface. There's so much more to explore and discover. The Pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for watching. That seems okay. Neither here nor there on it. It's okay. Uh, yes, I love Fire Pro. I wish more folks watched my videos of Fire Pro. The game is awesome. Holiday. So again, there's no date for the fucking PS5. You know. Next yeah! Time, let's see store for Spelunky 2. Give me a date! Hi, my name is Derek Yu, and I'm the creator of Derek. Spelunky. This is all I want. This is all for I Spelunky want. Spelunky 2, I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. It was important we didn't change the things that made Spelunky such a unique experience in the first place. So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family, and even strangers on the internet. That's one reason why we're adding online multiplayer, Hooray! so that more people can play the game together. Gotta help you as and I also wanted to include that feeling of community into Spelunky 2 itself to make sure that the game felt welcoming even though it's difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game community and family. That's cool. I designed the world of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's gonna feel a lot more full. Players will be able to explore and interact with it in lots of new ways. For example, you'll be able to ride turkeys, turkeys! and find hidden passageways, All right, the gold and you'll have to back. choose between branching paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. Branching paths, oh shit. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have interesting runs that don't even go past the first area. What's going on? 
Jeremiah. And Spelunky One runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. What is that second thing? So in Spelunky Two, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new characters that can help you or hinder you. What the? A hunter. Given how amazing the Spelunky community is, it's hard to say how long it will take to find the deepest secrets. About a week. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know about. The fuck is that crab? And there are lots of new things to play with that I hope players Power can pack. use to push past the boundaries of what we, all these as frames, the developers, just, just... know about the game. I have two types of favorite stories from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. Yeah! Fuck that shopkeeper. And second, the ones where people shared a fun experience with friends and family in multiplayer. If you haven't These played are the Spelunky, stories that I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. Basically, basically perfect. They're really what guided my design choices. It's so good. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's been exciting for me and the rest of the team. Water physics. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky 2 comes out, I want players to experience what we experienced making it. That feeling that there's something special there waiting for you to discover it. A big thanks to the fans who've waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. Date. Date. It's been a long date. journey, but I think it's going to be worth it. Give me a date! Thanks. Derek, give me a date! What are you doing? Boom! Oh, if you have not played Spelunky, holy shit, man. The game is basically fucking perfect. Like... Yes! That's next month, bro! Holy shit! That is way too close to Battlegrounds, but... That's all I wanted. We've got a bunch all of I wanted. PS4 updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. I'm going to text Echo Mog right now and tell him Spelunky 2 is out. Fucking... I I'm sure he's also hey, watching fucking streaming, but holy shit. On, let's take Finally! A it's been so long since they announced that game. Like, at least two or three years. Holy shit, I'm so happy. Next month. Next month! We get some monthly too. And, hopefully, we get some more updates on huh. Baldur's Gate 3. It's gonna be a, it. an announced date for that uh, at the end of, uh, at, on the 18th of this month. So, fuck, man. Can't wait. Can't wait for Lunky 2. Holy shit. I get my fingers back in shape for more Spelunky. Good God. What is this anime fucking thing going on? on, on I have no idea. Ideal in death. But it's very anime. If you cannot bring yourself to very shit. anime. Speak my name. Big ass sword. Big ass wolf. Which I talk. awaken. Huh? Think you can get away? Burning kiss. Time for takeoff. Okay, sure. When you've played so many anime games and watched. So much anime dubbed that you start to recognize the uh, your mind for the void armada. Act actors. Gods have squealed for my mercy. Voices. Who are you? Right. Who is this? What is this? I have not heard of that studio before. So, this is stylish as hell. What is it? Please don't have cards. I'm so tired of cards. Uh, yes, I will, I will make Grim play plus two. Don't you worry. That's gonna happen. Oh, show. So is it a 2D fighting game, or what? Is it a size for a beam up? It's stylish. What the fuck is it? It's definitely... Unicron. It's something, man. I have the power! It seems like a side scrolling, like, I don't know, is it like a... I'm not done yet. Is it all boss fights? Like, I'm, I'm not sure I'm 
looking at here. You should have remained. It seems like a series of boss fights. Aeon? Aeon? Must die? Okay, sure. Sure. I'm on a boat. I'm on a 2D boat. No, I'm in a... What? Sure, I like platforming. Everything is cyberpunk in 2020. Swords, guns. I don't know. Having this trailer next to the last trailer is a bit too similar at the same time of what I'm looking at here in terms of a 2D like slash and shoot type type thing. Oh no! Evangelion is happening. I'm so fucked up. This feels like somebody who watched a lot of anime but anime but is not actually from Japan made a game. Like, I've played those before. Um I have no idea who, it's who, time who, to talk who it is where it's from. PS Let's check out some gameplay footage captured from Talking PS5. My invitation is open. Come join More me Bugsnax. on the island of Bugsnax. Hey, what happened? Wow. That's your new lead? Another GNN. monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist! What? Don't tell me you actually believe this half-baked nonsense. I swear, if you chase this Bugsnax story, you're out of a job! You're the journalist! Lisbert said you'd be coming. There's a bug snack right over there. Do me a favor and take my snack trap. Snack trap. Stranger, I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to lead the bunger over yonder. Bunger? I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. Brutal. And feed it to me, Obs. How's my little sprout doing? He misses Papa. Oh, of course he does. Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. Conspiracy. Is that an Oreo? You're pretty good at stuff, and nobody hates you yet. You can catch bug snacks and bring everybody back to Snacksburg. Okay, look, man. I am all well, I am all down for some more bug snacks. So you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. Oh, pizza fucking Mothra. Oh. An of pizza. Sure. I'm all in on more bug snacks. Uh, yeah, I would love a Cuphead update, please. But they said, There's hey, we're, we're working store. on it. Let's start with an update on an hey. eagerly awaited right. PlayStation That's VR game. Whatever. What's going on, RC Creo? Uh, as far as who poisoned, poisoned Montez, it was a real okay, you know, They don't want to say drugs, he was drugs. It's gonna be the lineup. Or something. I don't know. You are not super important. I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. The force? More Star Wars and VR. This, this, is, this has been out on the Oculus Quest for a while, I think. The Oculus Go. One of them. One of them. But yeah, now it's going to... And it, it's... it's VR game is putting it loosely with that thing. It's more of... It's a, it's a, it's a VR experience. Is this Control? Is this the next DLC for Control? Whatever you do, stay in the light. That's control. I recognize those machines. And that thing. Yes, remedy, yes, more DLC for control. It's so good. It's so good.
Wasn't it that the third DLC of this thing is going to involve Alan Wake in some way? Have that all. Well, at least it's the second one. But. Oh. Alright. A W E. Alan Wake experience. I don't know. No idea who the studio is, so what do we got? Dragons? Maybe. Um, so, I don't know, man. Yeah, auto chess. Boo, don't care. This looks familiar? There's a PC game that, that does this type of... Yeah, this is out on PC. I'm pretty sure it's out on PC. I can't remember what the fuck it's called. But I'm pretty sure it's this out on PC. I got an, I had gotten it in an email. Of, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, all right, definitely. I can't recall, I can't recall the name, but definitely out on PC already. I've heard it's okay. I haven't played it, but it's certainly an interesting concept. Game Boy! That's a Game Boy down there! PS4 controller! Pedestrian, yes. That has been out on PC for a little bit. Next year, wow. Alright, sure. January. Now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. New! We are the forest shadows. Yes, show me new. Ghosts running silently between the straight, cold lines of a corrupt state. Focus home in Sumo Newcastle? Hmm. Quiet and long, don't shed a tear. They count, ration, manipulate. There's a wolf in the night and he's talking. They've taken everything from those they claim to protect. Authority and steel will not stop us. We aren't an invading army. We are wraiths. We bypass defenses and strike at the heart. So they stealth steal or tactics or like I always don't like when there's like, all right, here's all this fancy, you know, it's the tone piece, it's CGI. All right, what's the game look like? What's the game play like? What was stolen? When the hoods fall flat. And the people call us heroes. From the day of night. To others, we are rivals. So is it a squad-based horde mode game, or like, what's the, again, not very clear what the fuck this is. Is it a team-based thing? Like, Cyber Arrow. All right, that was a little bit of gameplay. A little bit of gameplay there. So it's third person. And... We are all outlaws. All right, here's some gameplay. Looks like an That's online multiplayer awesome. thing. Uh, no, not, no. I'm immediately not interested. Like, uh, when hoods fly. Next year, PS5. So, Online multiplayer, uh, squad based versus type type shit. All right, what's going on, Tyler? Ten times coming to PS5. It's already on PC. Um, we're playing Fall Guys. Don't worry, we're playing Fall Guys. As long as the game works with the servers, we're playing it. 
Uh, my thoughts on Raw Underground is that it was weird, man. Weird. Like, what the fuck is Shane doing? First of all, he got fired. So, why is he back? They didn't explain it in kayfabe. Like, what? What's that, man? Seriously. We didn't forget. Shane lost to Kevin Owens on the first episode of Fox Smackdown. And it was a loser leaves WWE match. Not leaves Smackdown, it was loser leaves WWE. And he's back. And they didn't really explain why. So, you know, wrestling. Should happen. Uh, Fall Guys is on PS Plus. If you have PS Plus, it Before is free. We wrap Otherwise, up, it is Let's take a tour bucks. of Godfall. We've got new PS5 well. gameplay for this melee-focused action epic launching this holiday. Before I have two wins. Two. Two wins. Back-to-back -back wins, too. Eh, Godfall. Look, man. I said it before. Hello. I'll say it again. My name is Keith Fuck Lee. Gearbox. And I am the Fuck game Randy director Pitchford. for Godfall. Fuck him. On behalf of Counterplay Games, we are very excited to share gameplay with you today and to offer you a glimpse into the mystical world of Godfall. There is an achievement today, for like you'll be five extensive back -back gameplay wins. captured like, on a PlayStation 5 development kit. Trophy. Please keep happen. in mind that the game is still a work in progress and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony's next generation console. Please enjoy. We, I don't, I'm not gonna enjoy, I don't, I don't care. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Mr. Rento, what's good? Godfall you is a do? looter slasher that features intense action, satisfying moment to moment combat, and robust loot progression systems. Loot. You can enjoy the game at your own pace, loot, loot. playing alone, or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. What's going on, on the world is split up into we the got like elemental four realms or five of five more minutes of this thing and then, and water, then we're done. I think about air. About 40 minutes. And so fire. maybe they'll Godfall close with some demon souls. Cross. All loot and demon gear soul, in the game are acquired. Well, I or got what I wanted. Through and that was a release date for no motherfucking transactions. No waiting for content, it's what? all in the game on day one. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge a mad god who awaits you at the top. You mad play god. a Valorian knight, a godlike warrior able to equip valor plates, legendary armor sets that transform you into an unstoppable master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient valor plates lost in time each with their own characteristics and long history. I don't care. Now let's talk about gameplay and Godfall. I don't give a shit. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. I'm sure it's been done. Our game is therefore one part gear driven and I'm, one I'm, part player sure skill driven. Done. In other words, not only do we want you to find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that this is feeling Godfall. of accomplishment for mastering the wide set of combat mechanics available to you in Godfall. From a combat philosophy perspective, the melee combat in Godfall is intended to be fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. More often than not, you'll be facing multiple enemies at the same time. As a result, you should always be moving and closing the gap on enemies. Uh, who's also, next for you Zaro dominate and the combat space, not the who's enemies. In and the game rewards you for being aggressive. At this point. Like, now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig down. into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, like the there are five weapon classes. The longsword, thin right now. So, unless the dual blades, you unless you're gonna make some, make the some arm which you could do. The two-handed Warhammer. And like, the two-handed The tag team sword. of King Corbin and Shorty G. Each and weapon class has team. their own unique could movesets happen. and play styles, ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. As you defeat enemies in your adventures, you will acquire numerous weapons. For each weapon category, each weapon with their own primary and secondary traits. 
At a later date, we will delve into the weapon classes and how to modify them in greater detail. I For now, don't care. we'll go over the dual blades and the longsword weapon classes. Come on now. The dual blades are the fastest fast. weapon class in Godfall, and oh body, God, speed, wait, 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 fluidity, and mobility. Game. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, unarmored targets or single targets. It's just kind of meh. You can perform a combo meh. by executing four consecutive light attacks. The dual blades heavy attack uh, is the a spinning thing blade cycle. They don't, they, the blade totally cycle fucking cut. can also be used Axe, as a finisher doing it. at the end so... of your light attack combo. So what are the signature moves we'll, for the we'll, dual blades? We'll, we'll ever know. As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus, which is unique to the dual blades, which inflicts Much massive like damage in GTV, a short period of time. We're never gonna know. There's also a mortal coil where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you, like pulling a cable. Now let's switch to the longsword weapon Oh class. my god, I don't care. Longswords are balanced weapons, Give me five minutes embodying to get out. crisp like, damage need... and simple and cooldowns without needing a lot of elaborate game. combo setups. Similar to it's dual blades, longsword's have their own four game. hit light attack Jesus combo. Christ. Then there's uh, the heavy attack Elias, finisher, I'm, I'm assuming that which can be used Elias at the end of your light attack uh, combo. By there are three signature moves for the longsword but. class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in a straight fixed path. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. If you press the shield um, button exactly at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. For 2K Battlegrounds when the shield comes out is a core part of Godfall. Soon. It's available um, to you throughout the entire game. You can always block incoming attacks with your shield. If you press yeah, the shield video button game. at the right time, of course you, can. you can also parry an attack. Uh -huh. You can perform a Basic light attack game after a last second shield block to counterattack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple Show nearby targets. Longer, you assholes. If you tap the shield button just as oh you catch God. your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. I don't need all these mechanics. Just show me five minutes and to get course, on with it. And of course, you can perform an R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. Are you done? Are you done? Here's even more. Here's some, here's some story shit. I don't care. Oh my god, there's more. It's the boss fight. Does that boss fights work? Yeah, you know. If this is the if this is like their last thing for this fucking show, come on. Y'all better give me some more demon souls, goddammit. Seriously. This is just kind of eh. Eh. Uh, my thoughts on Raw Underground was what the fuck was Raw Underground? Like, first I was like, alright, it's a, it's, a, it's a way to kind of have some new guys like Puppetune Day, you know, get brought up. And then, oh wait, here's Eric and Ivar, and then here's Dolph, and then here's the Hurt Business. And I'm like, what is the purpose of this? Right? But but also, right, I feel like that Raw Underground will last about as long as the brand brand invitational. We like, hope you enjoyed our like, first walkthrough video of Whatever. Godfall running on the PlayStation like, what's, 5. What's, what's the point? Like, we what, also want to thank all the game? fans for their endless support since our Snake initial lady. reveal back in December. We have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression and are eager to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. Don't be eager, I we don't care. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And again, thank you. fuck Gearbox. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck you, Randy. And fuck your fucking company. What the fuck? I hate him. I hate him. That's a wrap. No! Enjoyed this peek that was the, the last thing? PlayStation. Was Godfall? See you next time. That was your last? You assholes.
Your last thing was that long ass fucking thing for Godfall that nobody gives a shit about. What the fuck, Sony? What? That was the last thing was that? Are you fucking kidding me? You can't even go, alright, by the way, here's a little bit more Demon Souls. No? No? Look. 40 minutes and you ended on Godfall. That nobody cares about. There is, there is zero hype for Godfall. None. People are pissed. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, man? That's what you ended it on? Like, seriously? Alright, well, that, that happened. That was a live stream. That did things. But if they had had a strong ending on that, you know, just something besides that. Because that was a pretty weak ending for a game that they had announced, you know, last year. And, granted, had you had a bit of a different layout. Like, for me, if, if you had ended on, on Hitman and Hitman in VR, holy shit, right? That was like the second thing. Just the way it was structured was not... Not great, man. Like... You, you want to have the most surprising and crazy-ass thing at the end. Not not have, alright, here's shit you've already seen at the end. That's not super engaging. To be like, alright, here's a very thing of Godfall for like eight minutes, and then, ah, uh, we're done. Like, learn a thing on how to structure your video things. Hey, here's one more thing. A little bit of Demon Souls. Here's one more thing. Just a little bit of something that's more exciting than fucking Godfall. And I get it. It's a PS5 game. I understand. But holy shit, that was just underwhelming to finish out on. You want to have a thing that's a bang at the end, not a whimper. That is just basic video shit 101. End strong. Don't fucking start strong and then end weak. It's dumb, man. It's dumb. But that means for me, it is time to eat some dinner and then edit myself some more Vacation Simulator Episode 3, hopefully in time for tomorrow at 5 p.m. And then Pixels is Mario on Saturday and then perhaps some more Divinity on Sunday and then next week. I don't fucking know. I'm playing catch up here on not having power for a day and a half. So, you know, shit happens. Anyhow, that was State of Play. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed those somewhat interesting things that happened and my reactions and such and whatever else. Thanks for hanging out. I'm a tax slug. Uh, more videos on this channel. More streams when I can do them. We'll see. But definitely more videos coming in the near future. I will see you uh, next time. All right here. Fall Guys is happening on Pixels next week. I've done two streams of Fall Guys. Look them up. They're out there. Two hours of that game are already on this channel. Look, look it up. So, but yes. Pixels for, Pixels, for, Pixels for Fall Guys is next week. So, look forward to that. But yes, I'm a tax slug. Gotta go have some dinar. I'll see you next time. Right here. And I'm out. Peace.